Well, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Geek with Glasses Live. On today's episode, we're going to do a quick product unboxing and overview of Plantronics' brand new to the market, GameCon 780 surround sound headset. So as I said uh, just now, these are brand new. They were announced at CES last month in Las Vegas and have recently, just a couple of weeks ago, been available on the market for purchase. And a buddy of mine actually picked these up. We play Battlefield 3 quite a bit. And uh, th the sound that I hear when we're communicating with uh, listening to his headset is amazing. So I know right off the bat, without even using these for the first time, I know that the audio that uh, this will reproduce on the other end is uh, really good. So he, these, these come highly recommended by him, and I went out and grabbed a pair. So let's uh, take a look at what we get in the box. Start off, as you can see, they're, uh, they're made by Plantron, uh, Plantronics. You can get the 380, which is actually just stereo headset, but the 780 here comes with uh, Adobe surround sound uh, software so that you can kind of emulate 7.1 surround sound in the headset. Now, I do have a Game Blaster Platinum in my machine, which also has similar Similar capability, so I am looking forward to testing out whether the software that's bundled with the headset works as effectively as the the drivers for the for the sound card. So I'm going to play with those um, and let you know uh, the difference. So what you get in the box is a uh, 7.1 surround sound software, which is included. The driver size for these headsets are 40 millimeters, so hopefully this is going to produce a really good range of sound from you know low end, you know explosion type sound effects, and then your high end like ricochet sounds when playing you know a, a, a first person shooter type game. Um, you do get a six and a half foot cable with these, which is really nice, and they actually are um, standard mini jacks, but it comes with a USB converter to plug into the system, so it's actually a USB device. So let's open this up and see what we get. Pull it out. Looks like down inside the box here, they've taped on the inside of the box the uh, GameCon software. So that's going to be your surround sound drivers um, to put in. And pretty simple packaging. Wow, very nice, soft, like a velvety feel to the, to the cushions on them. Let's see, how are we going to pull these out? Okay, so they don't make it easy to get these out, do they? All right, let's push these through here. Okay, yeah, they make that fun. All right, so here we go. Got the headset. Let's move all this literature out of the way. Um, we do get a little bit of a getting started in seconds, um, you know, pull-out guide in 15 different languages, I'm sure. And it looks like... Uh, Please in install the software before plugging them in. Oh, I was actually wrong. The reviews that I read stated that this actually was a standard double mini jack that came with an adapter, but that's not the case. It actually is a straight USB adapter. So let's take a look at what we got. Nice black high gloss finish. Uh, we've got the microphone. It looks like it is stuck up on here um, out of the box, so this will be kind of a pain to get off. I don't want to waste too much time doing that. It's got the, uh, like I said, the high gloss finish on both the headset and up here on the top with, uh, you know, the GameCon uh, badging. Microphone comes down. Plantronics, this does actually bend. You can bend this and adjust it um, according to your uh, desired distance from your mouth. You do have um, the, looks like a Dolby button here. So you can turn Dolby on and off. And you do have both microphone and volume rocker. So you can turn these up and down directly from the headset. You don't have to take your hands off of, uh, of the gaming action. Well, you do if you're going to reach up. But you can also mute the microphone um, very quickly uh, just by clicking that button. So it's got the single wire design, which I like. I really like that a lot. Very big, thick padded. These are considered over ear. You know, nice cushiony. This almost feels like a velvet. Um, looks very comfortable. Feels a little bit stiff. They do have a rotate, so you can set them flat when you're not using them. And uh, overall, you know, it's a nice design. Feels pretty sturdy in the hand. Makes a little jiggly noises, but that's, you know, just the design and the fact that they, you know, kind of conform a little bit. So I am going to go and uh, get these installed, try them out, and uh, I'm going to do another video and give you a review of the GameCon 780s and let you know how I actually like them in compared to my old Tactex headset that came with my gaming rig that I just do not like at all. So I'll let you know. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Have a good day.